the lawnmower man. He's the fool. He's the fool card. He's the fall guy. He's the scapegoat. Um, I don't believe that this is a real story in the sense of what happened really happened for why it seems to have happened in the news story. Um, <clears throat> I think there's a lot of hints in the numbers, but more so in the narratives that lie in the background, such as the fact that, well, there's two different narratives for the lawnmower man. There's the version that most people are familiar with, which is the futuristic virtual reality version, then there's the version which is more faithful to the uh, the little short book, 18 pages or whatever, at Night Shift, which was more about sexual depravity and uh, just oddness. If you read the other, you know, the short story, the real story, the movie somehow is not actually like the short story. It has the same name. Um, so it's more of a coincidence in a way, I guess. But um, when you look at the the narrative of the man in Toronto, and he turns out to be a man who could well have, I mean, did travel the whole country selling products, and and so he, I believe, also was probably connected to something like a, uh, well, uh, like a child prostitution ring possibly or child trafficking or human trafficking um, too much of this is coming out to not have that maybe as he was he was more important than we think and the story runs a lot of um, victims names that were Muslim uh, or possibly Arabic possibly not um, but there was certainly the Crescent mention, mentioned, excuse me, and and then I was just recently listening to another gentleman's coming up with some stories he had heard about this whole uh, ring of uh, military people of one form or another of the United States uh, military branches, CIA, FBI, whatever, um, doing the same thing in... Um, you know, the countries of Southern Asia. And so it just kind of sprang me that maybe this narrative of what's going on is real in some sense, and the story of the deaths is real. But he may have just been a procurer for these beings, for other people, because we know the elite amongst us are cannibalistic, some of them, and they do require a market for those types of beings and their sacrifices. So I just thought it to be aware the stories are possibly all coming out at the same time because they're just trying to cover their tracks and they're going to put down people to break the chain of command and I would not be surprised if this guy doesn't end up dead soon. Um, Mr. Mick Arthur, uh, you know, it's a play on Arthur, royal lineage and so something to think about. Thank you for joining me. Have a blessed day. And uh, everyone go and forgive everyone and take care of each other in the name of Jesus Christ.